What's up, people? It's your man, Chef. I'm off the dome. Back in for another video. Now, I was going to make a Kobe Bryant, you know, RIP video. Because when I grew up, I love Shaq, but I love Kobe as well. I've always been a Lakers fan. And although I don't watch basketball as much as I used to, the Lakers are an important part of my childhood. And when I used to play basketball and whatnot, I wasn't that good. But I was better at football, so I played that. Go Eagles. But anyway, this is sad that... When you search MSNBC Kobe Bryant situation saying the Los Angeles niggers, you can't even find a woman's name. I guess some artists say her name is Allison Morris, but a lot of other articles, her name's not even mentioned. I'm glad this happened, though, because this lets you know that, one, just because a white person has a D or R behind their name doesn't mean one is racist and one is not. You could be a Democrat and be racist. You could be independent and be racist. You could be a Republican and be racist. Or not even racist, you can still use out-of-date terms. Now, I guarantee you she would have said the word faggot or kike. She would get exposed and all the outlets been covering it. But since she said the N-word, nothing's going to happen to her. She will not do any world tour apologies. She won't be fired. And if she is fired, it'll be quietly. They're not going to display it. I don't even say Fox News have an article right now. And they're the Republican ones. I always like to call out the other side from the hypocrisy. So when you look on Google, it's a bunch of Reddit articles and other like non, like not Washington Post, not New York Times, not any big articles. There's no big company right now with um, this story out there. And we look on YouTube, you get makeshift clips of people just recording the TV live. They're not even in the recaps from any major outlets, sources, TMZ is not looking at this, none of them. So maybe it might change tomorrow, but as of now, it seems like Saying Kobe Brown was a member of the Los Angeles niggers is what they're saying. And looks like nothing's being done about it. Nothing's being exposed about it. And you can't even get an excuse that slipped off a tongue because the Los Angeles Lakers starts with an L. He didn't play for the Denver Nuggets. Okay? He didn't play for New York Knicks or the Nets. Nothing with an N sounding sound. So it's not even that close to L sounding sound. So overall, besides that... R.P. Kobe Bryant. He was a great basketball player. Five rings. One of the greatest of all time. I grew up on Shaq and Kobe. Shaq is particularly my favorite basketball player of all time. But I know that Jordan has better stats and all that. But I just enjoy watching Shaq when I grew up. I watched a little Iverson. So I enjoy those two. But Kobe's always been in my top five. And he will be missed. 41, that's a good life to live. It is. Especially with all he's accomplished. A lot of people won't be able to console what he did in 41 years and 80 years. So I'm glad he got to live that life. But I do feel bad that his daughter did die on that plane at 13 years old. That is something sad. Even though she had a decent upbringing, a child, and probably she probably had a good life. It would have been nice to see her grow into a woman and be able to do something on her own one day. So RP to his daughter and whoever else was on the plane. I don't know who else was there. But RP to all of them. Plane crashes happen. I'm not going to go conspiracy theorists and all that. I don't think there was any conspiracy. I think plane crashes and helicopter crashes happen just like car crashes happen. Paul Walker died the same way. Fiery car crash. So, Aaliyah died the same way, unfortunately. It just happens. Flying in the air and driving is very dangerous. And although a lot of you do it every single day, you drive back and forth to work and drive to school and whatnot, there could be one day where you don't come home. But you have to keep living life because you don't want to be scared. And Kobe took that risk. He went on that court every day. He flew out for many games. He is the man in that Staples Center. Every time somebody performs at the Staples Center, every time a game is held at the Staples Center, it will forever be known as Kobe Bryant's home. Just like the Baltimore Ravens name is Ray Lewis's home. So, RP Kobe Bryant, MSNBC, well done. You showed and exposed that it doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum you're on. Racism can be shown any type of way. Anyway, it's your man, Chef. I'm off the dome. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I got new videos coming for you about four times a week usually. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. Peace.